Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Plex here. I know I haven't had any videos in a while. Um, just doing a video over uh, my pistol that I bought a couple of weekends ago at the uh, gun show. It's going to be a Russian Makarov. It's uh, made by Imez, which is uh, from the Ismesh factory. Um, it's an IJ7018A, so it's a single stack, and it shoots the... Uh, 9 by 18 Makarov round. Um, this was uh, imported by Big Bear Arms in uh, Dallas, Texas. And they were around during the mid-90s and stuff like that before uh, all the importation laws uh, came into effect. But uh, it's a pretty good pistol. Uh, the guy that I got it at from the gun show, he's wanting to sell it for about $175 or $375. And uh, I had him bring it down just to $300. Um, minor wear there's it really isn't anything there's just some wear right here where the bluing is just from uh it being in the holster and then the barrel just you know from when it was being fired so it's not a lot of uh wear at all and this is going to be the sporterized version so it's going to have the adjustable uh back sight that you can uh turn the little knob right here and kind of raise it up or down and then there's a little screw on the side right there to where you could do the uh you know the back sight move to the left or right um it came with two magazines. Uh, this one right here is going to be the original factory uh, magazine. And then, let me get this one out. We have our East German uh, magazine. If you can tell the difference between the two. Um, you have the little open slit right there, but this is going to be closed. Um and actually, the East German magazines are going to be a lot better in quality than the normal Russian ones. So, I carry that in my gun all the time. Um, rounds really cheap, too. Uh, I got a box of uh, 50 rounds for just 10 bucks when I was at the gun show, so it's pretty good. Um, everything's real smooth on this gun. After I give it a good cleaning and stuff like that, um, trigger pull is pretty decent. Um, there's a lot of play in the trigger, uh, whether it, uh, the hammer's up or you have the hammer cocked back. You can uh, still kind of ma manipulate the trigger a little bit before, you know, having to squeeze off the round. Um, decocker works pretty good. I uh, really haven't tried it out on any, with any rounds in it. Really don't want to. Be kind of pointless. Slide's pretty good, too. Um, like I said, after the cleaning, it was a little rough pulling back the slide and uh, hitting the slide release and stuff like that. But now after uh, I gave it a good cleaning and some lubrication and stuff like that, it really goes smooth. I, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. It's not a problem at all. Um, hopefully I get some range time with this. Uh, actually go to an outdoor range because, you know, all the fucking indoor ones are really shitty when it comes to their... Uh, ammunition requirements which you can and cannot shoot um but yeah so it was a good buy for 300 you know i got those two uh magazines and it also came with a leather case you know, like a heavy magazine holder and everything and then on the back you have a little uh slot there for your cleaning rod so it was a good buy i'm pretty uh pleased with it um if anybody has any information really on the markings uh towards the back of the pistol i mean please, you know, send me a message or something, let me know, because I'm curious to see, you know, the manufacturing and stuff like that, and I don't know if you can see it right now, probably not in the best lighting, but you have these, uh, three little symbols right here, um, but yeah, if you have anything, just let me know. Disassembly is really easy on this gun, too, um, you know, of course, the Russians like to make things really simple, um, so... You know, of course, you put the safety down on it first. Uh, I have a magazine in, so the slide's going to lock back anyways, but we'll take that out. Um, the trigger guard right here is is going to be what holds everything together. And you can just pull that down and then just move it to the left or the right where it's just sitting on the frame. And then you just want to go ahead and uh, pull the slide back and then just lift up on it a little bit. The slide's going to come off. So, your slide's off, and then you got the guts of the gun uh, fixed on there to the frame. We have our recoil spring, and then uh, we have 
the rest of our components right here, disconnector, uh, the hammer group, like everything. Um, went to a good website that's really useful. It's called Makarov.com, and uh, they have a lot of uh, helpful information on uh, the markings on the gun or uh, how to fully disassemble the gun and everything. It's really helpful. And I would suggest anybody else who has a Makarov or, you know, something similar to that to go to that website and check it out. And uh, this reassembly is going to be real easy on it. Um, you may want to have a couple of runs through it, though, just to get it right. Just got to pull the slide back and just kind of rust it onto the rails again. And... Uh, Pull that trigger guard, put it back in there, and uh, you hit your disconnector, or not your disconnector, your decocker. Make sure that everything's working good. And it's real simple. I really liked it. There's only really 27 parts to the uh, pistol to begin with, so that's uh, something that I really like. And the pistol's got a real good feel to it, too, especially like with the grip and everything. Um, it's real simple, you know, flat sides on uh, on both sides of the pistol. I know some have the little thumb rest on the side right here that extends out, but uh, from what I hear, a lot of people don't like it. Um, it's got a good, got a really good feel to it. Uh, and with the magazine, it has a little lip right there, so you can kind of rest your pinky on it. Your finger's going to go over a little bit, but it's not a lot to where um, it could be something bothersome. Um my grip also has the little uh, lanyard loop right there. Not that I'd really need a lanyard for anything. Um, I've been contemplating on whether just to stick with the Baykel uh, black grips or to uh, go on and find uh, you know the Soviet Bakelite um, grip to kind of make it look more uh, Soviet authentic or not. Um, but that's it. I mean, other than that, it's a real nice pistol. The bluing on there, everything. Um, Highly satisfied with my purchase, and uh, I would suggest anybody else who wants to uh, buy surplus guns, shoot some really fucking cheap ammunition, you know, have a good time with it. Just uh, think about picking up one of these, you know, whether it be a Russian, which I found, thank God, or, uh, you know, the Bulgarians. The Bulgarians are out now. Um, the CZ-82s, those seem like a pretty cheap pistol. Uh, when I was at the gun show, I saw... Those was going for about maybe $150 or so. The Bulgarian Makarovs and the Russian ones are going to be a little bit more uh, expensive. But that's just because it's got the original Makarov look to it, not some new age design that they tried to do. And with this pistol, the mag release, there's no mag release on the side of the slide like we're used to uh, with all these other pistols. Um, it's going to have a uh, thumb release right here. And uh, you have to push that back before you can pull the magazine out. So um, it may be hard for some people. It's going to tear your thumb up a little bit, but uh, I've gotten used to it. Um, yeah, I've gotten used to it to where I could take it out real quick and then just put a new one in. So magazine change isn't going to be a problem. A lot of people like to put a little uh, ring, like a key ring or whatever on there so they can pull it back and make it loading a lot easier. But I mean, think about it. How awkward is that going to be if you uh, decide to do this as like a carry pistol? I would assume that you're going to be a lazy ass at the range and, you know, not want to rough up your fingers a little bit because, you know, it's just too hard. But uh, I'm really fine with the thumb release. Uh, you know, um, they designed it that way so you wouldn't drop a mag on accident or something like that. So, you know, the Russians have a good idea when they design something. You know, it's not going to be fancy bells and whistles. It's, you know, it's simple, and it gets the job done. And that's what I like about it, you know. It's something good.